Hey everyone, welcome back with a new lecture with ISO IEC 1725 2017 edition and now sampling. Under process requirement, we have sampling. Sampling is very important for any lab. And if the lab is responsible for sampling, they shall apply all requirements of this document for sampling as for analysis. And very important point, the lab shall have a sampling plan and sampling procedure. Same like validation and verification. You shall have a validation plan and validation report or verification plan and verification report and also procedure for extraction of your target analytes. All of this, very important to get at the end valid results, to ensure the validity of results. And also sampling. If you have a sampling plan and sampling procedure which control all factors during the sampling process, at the end you will get or you will ensure the validity of subsequent testing or calibration and you will get at the end valid results. So sampling procedure shall address all factors to be controlled to ensure the validity of subsequent testing or calibration results and validation plan validation plan shall be based on statistical methods and well, you should know that validation plan and the procedure shall be available at the site so the lab shall prepare sampling plan every year the lab shall prepare a sampling plan to be followed during the year and this plan shall include the following points detailed outline of which measurements will be taken what are the parameters need to be analyzed in the lab and in which material is very important because each parameter has a specific portal to collect use for collection of this parameter at which time also at which time and from which location on which and by whom what uh, the sampling team or who will collect the samples so the location at the beginning what are the locations you will cover and at which time in, at which time you will cover all of these locations you shall cover all locations and parameters need to be analyzed and according to the parameter the material used for collection of these parameters so the lab shall cover all locations or all type of samples based on the lab field and also scope of the lab as example if you work for water analysis in a lab for water analysis the field water analysis and this lab is responsible for a specific city specific country so you shall cover all planets in this country but if you have bigger scope you have different countries in this case your lab shall cover all planets in all countries so based on the scope of the lab and also the field you will collect the sample and this plan can be changed can be changed year from year to year based on the lab requirements so the sampling plan shall be based on the scope of the lab and very important point the sample should be representative for the parameter of interest you should collect the sample in such a way that the sample should be representative for the parameter of interest up to sending the sample to the lab so the sampling plan shall be designed in such a way that the resulting data will contain a representative sample of the parameter of interest. And very important point, if you want to keep the sample representative of the, of the parameter of interest or the parameter inside the bottle, you shall follow sampling plan and specific procedure for sample collection according to the guideline you use. And if you have reference method, you will find for, for a specific parameter as example, you will find how to collect the sample for this parameter. So you will follow the chain of custody. At the beginning, sampling team or samplers will prepare required containers for samples collection based on parameters need to be analyzed. According to the parameters that you want to analyze at the end, you will have specific containers, specific containers. Some parameters need to be collected in plastic bottle or plastic container container and others in a glass and others need a specific chemicals to be added specific chemical to be added on the container before collection of the sample to preserve that sample 
or parameters inside the sample from collection of the sample up to sending the sample to the lab and analysis. And to organize your work, you shall record this in a specific form. And this form will be filled in the field. So samplers shall record all parameters need to be analyzed. You will have a specific form. In this form, you will write all parameters need to be analyzed inside the lab. And you will prepare your containers or your bottles. Then you will go to the field. And in the field, if you collect a specific parameter, you will check mark like this. But if you didn't collect this parameter, you will keep it empty. So when you will go back to the lab, you will be able to know how many samples collected and what are parameters need to be analyzed for each sample. And from the most important precautions that you should follow during transportation of samples from the field to the lab, preservation temperature. Parameters need to be preserved in a specific temperature according to the guideline that you use. So car used for transportation shall be equipped with freezer and this freezer shall be adjusted at the required temperature. And you should keep data logger which is calibrated, shall be calibrated with the certificate. This data logger will record the temperature during the whole transportation from sending the field, from sending the samples from the field to the lab. And now we want to collect the samples. So a specific procedure for sample collection shall be followed. From where you will get this procedure for collecting of samples, lab shall follow a specific guideline or if you have reference method, you will find sampling part. In this sampling part, you will find how to collect each parameter. So you will find sampling procedure for each parameter, how to collect each parameter and you shall follow this procedure. And as I mentioned before, sampling plan and sampling procedure shall be available at the site with the sampler. At the end, samples shall be received at the lab also in a specific form to ensure that whatever collected samples for all parameters will be received and analyzed. So samples received at the lab and kept directly in a specific refrigerator or, or freezer and this also should be equipped with data logger to record the temperature daily. But if the parameter need to be analyzed, if the parameters need to be analyzed on the same time, so lab analyst shall receive the sample on the same time, sample bottles and analyze. For some parameters, according to the guideline you use, you will find that some parameters need to be analyzed on the same time, on the meantime. You cannot wait for the next day to analyze these analytes. So you shall receive and analyze. But for some other parameters, need six hours, need one day, need uh, it can be it can be freezed or uh, preserved for uh, one week. So in this case, no need to receive at the same time and analyze. So if you follow this chain of custody, you will ensure hundred percentage that your sample representative for the parameter of interest or the parameters need to be analyzed and you will ensure that your results at the end will be valid. And here are some steps you can follow during development of the sampling plan. Steps involved in developing sampling plan. Identify parameters need to be analyzed. Design a sampling scheme but details how and when the samples will be taken. Design data storage format, all forms that you can use. Assign roles and responsibilities, who are responsible for what. Better to save the data in a statistical Excel sheet. And this data like collected samples, what are the collected samples, for which parameters, and by whom, the sampling done by whom with the signature, and received also by whom with the signature. And also sampling plan and sampling procedure shall be available at the site with the sampler. But if you cannot do this, and this is very difficult also to keep all of these documents with you at the site, in this case, the lab can keep 
assembly plan and procedure on the shared folder and using glimpse they can open anywhere and the second point in sampling the sampling method shall describe all of these points the selection of samples or sites the sampling plan the preparation and the treatment of samples to preserve the parameters inside the container as i said before parameters shall be received as collected and all of these points explained before at the end the lab shall retain records for the sampling data including reference for the sampling method used date and time of sampling when did you collect the sample data to identify and describe the sample physical properties for the sample as i said you will record in a specific form for each sample what are the parameters you collected in this sample and also the date and time when you collect the sample and physical properties for the sample when you collect the sample sampler who is responsible for the sampling at this time and equipment used for sampling and very important point environmental and transportation condition sometimes environmental conditions will affect on the validity of the sample so you shall identify what was the environmental condition at this time and also transportation condition if there is any problem during the transportation so after analysis we will know that we need to repeat this sampling again or not and also sampling location shall be recorded when appropriate you can also record the sampling location by gps at the same point to record the sampling point and that will be kept as a record for you in the future and also deviations from sampling method or plan if you did any deviation from the sampling method you shall record this so if we need to repeat again the sampling we can do this and also from the sampling plan as example if you have emergency samples during the sampling plan on the same date of the sampling plan you have emergency case or emergency complaint sample in this case you shall go to collect the complaint sample and you can delay the plan to another day and that's a very important point it's not only about the plan sometimes you have emergency case or you have complaint samples so that will be also collected and will be recorded that was outside the plan that was the end of our lecture for today Thank you and see you in the next lecture.